we will see some fun patterns of multiplication. Raju and Bablu are roaming in the market. Raju asks Appu the price of laddu. Appu told Raju that the price of laddu is 9 rupees per laddu. Raju quickly gave 18 rupees to Appu and took two laddus. Bablu was shocked. How Raju did this multiplication so quickly? Raju replied that he knows the magic of mathematics. Bablu could not understand anything. Bablu told Raju that he too wants to learn the magic of mathematics. Kids, do you also want to learn some math magic? Let us also learn with Bablu. First, Raju is teaching Bablu the easy way to memorize the table of 2 and 8. Raju is first referring to 2's table. He wrote these patterns in a table. 2, 4, 6, 8, 0 in two lines. Now he wrote zero in this way in front of two, four, six and eight in four cells of the first line. And finally wrote a one like this next to the written zero. Now he wrote one in this way next to 2, 4, 6 and 8 out of the second line. And finally, he wrote 2 in this way next to 0. Children, did you see any magic? Yes! And that's a table of 2 right here. Now Raju is telling Bablu that he can easily make a table of 8 using a similar pattern. Raju once again made such a table. Now he filled these patterns in both lines 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. Now in front of the digits written in the first line, Raju wrote 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 in this way. Then in front of the digits written in the second line, he wrote 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in this way. And the table of 8 was ready. Bablu excitedly told Raju that this magic math was great fun. Does any other table also show some patterns for easy memorization? Do you also want to see more math magic with Bablu? Raju tells Bablu that he can also tell him an easy pattern to memorize the tables of 3 and 7. Kids, do you know the game of cross and zero? Raju first designed the game of cross and zero in this way. He wrote the numbers from 1 to 9 in this pattern in the framework. Raju wrote 0 in front of the digits in the first line, 1 written next to the second line digit and 2 written next to the digits of the third line. Bablu started dancing happily. Do you know why? Because he could see the table of 3 here. 
Now Raju made a structure similar to the table of 3 for a table of 7. But this time Raju started writing numbers from 1 to 9 from this box. Then next to the digits written in the first line he wrote 0, 1, 2, then next to the digits in the second line he wrote 2, 3, 4 and in front of the digits of the third line he wrote 4, 5, 6. Here we have our table of 7 ready. Bablu was so happy to learn these unique patterns of memorizing tables. And he also bought Raju two more laddus from Appu's shop. Children, in this lesson, we have seen some fun patterns of multiplication. Children, in the previous lesson, we saw how Raju gave Bablu an easy way to memorize the tables with some unique patterns. Would you like to learn some more such patterns? Let's learn. Let us see two unique patterns to memorize the table of 9 easily. To make a multiplication table of 9, first write the numbers in decreasing order from 9 to 0 in this way. Now write a number like this from 0 to 9 next to these numbers. Isn't that easy? We can easily multiply any multiplication of 9 on our fingers in another way. Suppose we have to do 7 times 9. We have to find the answer of 7 times 9 here. So we will bend our 7th finger in this way. Now, how many fingers are there on the left side of the bent finger? 6. In this way, we will write it in a tens digit place. Now, how many fingers are there on the right side of the bent finger? 3. We will write this in a ones digit place like this. We found our answers. 7 times 9 equals 63. In this easy way, we can quickly find any multiplication that falls in the 9's table. You can also try this method with your friends. Kids, do you want to learn the patterns of memorizing the tables of 5 and 10 easily? Let us first look at the pattern of easy memorization of 5's table. First, we will write the digits from 0 to 6 twice this way. Now, we will write 0, 5, 0, 5, these patterns behind these digits. Did you recognize the pattern? Yes, it is the multiplication table of 5. Isn't it easy? Let us now learn the easy process of memorizing the table of 10. First, we will write 0 in this way 10 times. Now, next to these zeros, we will write the numbers from 1 to 10 like this. What do you see here, children? Yes! Our 10 table is ready. Children, now you can memorize the tables very quickly using these easy patterns. In this lesson, we learned some more interesting patterns of multiplication.